Hello everyone, this is John. Welcome back again to Eleanor. Today's just gonna be a short video. I'm gonna fin finish off patrol and I will start traffic in a new video. So, uh, just sit back and enjoy as much as you can with my nasally voice. There's the case that makes you, and gives you that leg up, gets you recognized yeah, as the be, shining new star in the be squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. Because have you been stalking me? LAPD! Could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. No, 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 no. He's not. He's not dead. He's only mostly dead. You see, okay, there's a big difference. There's a big difference between mostly choice, dead make and quick, uh, people. Uh, all dead. Now, if you want hey, to open his mouth. You got here quick. <clears throat> Let me cross the Seventh Street. Okay. You're first reporting. Then we'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. Dick. I'll be with you in a moment. Broad daylight. A crowded street. I've seen everything. No, you haven't. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. C. Galetta. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Man. I wish that that jewelry cut was that cheap these days. <clears throat> Not that fine here. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You okay? Come on. Hey, buddy. You okay? You okay? Yeah, it'll be fine. Shell casings. These look like 32s. Doesn't it label them? Hey, fuck out of my way. Shit. <clears throat> FN Browning. Serial number 011138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. I don't remember asking right, you a goddamn right. yeah, thing. A dead person. This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. You better take a statement. Begin with this fucking opinion. If I want an opinion, I'll ask for it. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. Don't you people have anything better to do? No. Speak to the witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. Bro, I think she's lying. Don't be afraid to get. I know what I'm doing. Verbally, of course. No, I thought I just smack her around. Don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. And if you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. <clears throat> See what you can coax out of her. Fucking asshole, acting like I don't know shit. Uh, can I can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. <laughs> now, Mr. Clovis. I said Mr. <laughs> you think you could tell me exactly what happened, Miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> Shit. 
Sheep dee dee dee. Woman, I'm right here. Ugh. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Eh, yeah, that's saying there's proof. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. I mean, it's not like Edgar the business Kalu. is going to close down. He Kalu runs the just jewelry works store. at the fucking store. He's showing me a lovely watch. <laughs> you can still Mr. get Gage the earrings as long in. as you have the voucher. Sure, it's a little covered in blood, but it's going to be Gage. okay. They it's going to be okay. Yelling at each other. You're fine, you're fine. We can make another Mr. copy. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the <clears> things in the store are junk. Nickel plated, made in Japan. That's a compliment and these days. me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get Unless back it's batteries, here. In which case, that's terrible. And I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Kalu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. I'm still questioning why they went good cop, bad cop accused. I mean, it Truth down and my work just fine, and also I love the doubt and, and lie memes. <laughs> You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Phelps is, is that just. What? <laughs> Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. This is true. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... Are you fucking kidding my... me? Still with those goddamn earrings. Line. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. God, woman. Get your priorities in order. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfields. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Why did I hit that? Oh my god, look how detailed that pencil is. Oh man, I love it. American Pencil Company, New York. <laughs> Man, you got the little chips and the paint, and how does Goldfels keep that thing so well sharpened? It's just so. Oh! Does he have a pencil sharpener in his pocket? He probably does. He probably does. Going straight to hell. <laughs> do, 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 do. Time to save the world. <laughs> I'm saving the world. You're getting in the way. You 
don't care who gets in your way, do you? Hey, this ain't ranked, why should I? We don't want any casualties, fellas. You don't want any casualties. What are you doing, you maniac? Everything. What the hell's wrong with you? A lot. <laughs> He's like, ah! <laughs> Oh man, I'm Officer. a lot more comfortable with this. What can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Callu. Edgar Callu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. Do you know where we can find Mr. Callu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. To Hartfield. To save that woman's earrings. Oh, fuck, she's got me doing it now. That was a tax paying citizen. You just bounced off the fucking hood, Belt. They did not bounce. Oh. You're gonna kill someone! I think I already did that. Extra, extra, asshole keeps hustling Officer, me. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Uh huh. Yeah. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Why do you think I jumped over the display? No, hey, no. look at me! <laughs> Like everybody saw Hello, that coming, get back here. me. Yeah, come on, let's get a you let's get a warning it. shot. My coffee's back the next time. Right. Come on. I should put one on him from here. Uh. Heavens to Betsy. Too late, Kalu. Heavens. Come on. All come right, on. come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Stop or I will shoot. <laughs> and I killed a bird. <laughs> Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> we did that. Look at what we did. The you would have chased the suspect and I made sure that truck was full of gas. Saw. The one that keeps you awake at night. I also got a box of donuts the in the car. The case that your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, the half-truths. Biggs, I think you're remembering this very differently. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. Nobody's murmuring about this. The case you never, ever discuss. This was an easy one. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle, I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. I'm Irish. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. 
think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. That's not good enough. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. All right, so... How'd your nose get so big? You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Right. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Yes, we can. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. The lying, Kalu. I think you lent Gage money. Doubt. And he owed you payment. I don't know what you're talking about. You're off the hook, for now. <laughs> you left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher? You and that stump Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Anybody else notice how Phelps kind of stut his model stuttered a bit there? Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Oh, boy. Alrighty guys, so mm, that is all for today. And I will be seeing you guys next time when we start with traffic. Get ready to say hi to Bukowski. <laughs>